In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options timeline infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, a uh, arrow comes here. You can see here. And on my next click, each option will come here. This is for the 2017. And then I've created one oval shape with the icon and the title. And here, this side, I have given a shadow effect. Again, on my next click, it will come for 2018 with different color combination. Then 2019, 2020, and 2021. And before we continue the tutorial, I would like you to subscribe my channel, PowerPoint University. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect shape. You can see here, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can give any gray color. Then go to insert shape. I'm just going to draw a line. You can see here from the center, just hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line and how much the width you want you can keep it maybe i need this much and then i can go to weight and increase it maybe a three point and the same color i'm going to give and then i'm going to add one arrowhead for that i'm going to use the triangle draw the triangle again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill select the same color and go to rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and then exactly put it in the center the next step is to add the years here so i'm just going to select this press ctrl uh, d you can see here duplicate this and hold the shift key increase the size a little bit and make sure that it is in center let me just zoom in and i'm going to duplicate this once again and let me just give some different color Hold the shift key, reduce the size and put it exactly in the center of this circle. And then I'm going to insert shapes, select the arrow, draw the arrow. You can see here, draw the arrow and make sure that this is, let me just reduce the size and it is equal to the size of this line, the gray line you can see here doesn't matter if it is somewhat increase or decrease not a problem so i'm going to select this circle hold the shift key select this arrow small arrow merge shape and i can just you can see here uh, subtract so when i subtract i end up getting something like this if you don't have this merge options then you don't need to add the arrow here so i'm just going to change the color to white and right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a shadow effect which is offset bottom right so it looks something like this you can see here then i'm just going to select this gray circle once again press ctrl d hold the shift key increase the size depending on your requirement and make sure that you put it exactly in the center you can see here the line if you want a bigger also you can again hold the shift key and make it bigger and make sure again this is in the center shape outline i'm going to give a gray color and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill so this is the the border now i'm going to add one more circle inside for that press ctrl d you can see here again this one more circle i have created now i'm going to give one color and shape outline make it no outline one more circle i'm making by pressing ctrl d and this one i'm just going to cut this part and i'm going to retain only a small part of the circle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle you can see here only this part i'm going to keep it so i'm just going to select this circle hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape you can again subtract it so you end up getting this one now i'm going to put it exactly on top of this one but it is not visible so i'm going to change the color you can choose any good color combination here for example i'm going to select some dark color you can see here and this one i'm going to select some light color so you 
the color combination should be light and dark color okay and then exactly i'm putting it here so you can see here these two colors are there press ctrl g to group it and i'm just going to hold the shift key and reduce the size and put it exactly in the center the next thing is i'm going to add the shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key increase the size of this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to select black and increase the transparency level maybe 55 56 percent and then go to effects and here soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here something like this and then just put it one side of that one the light color don't put it at the dark side so just put it here and then just send this to back so you can see here it looks something like this and then i'm going to add one line to connect this one so insert shapes select the line you can see here from this to this okay and shape outline and again i'm going to give the the gray color all right so my first one is ready now i'm going to add the ear here and some little text you can add it at the bottom go to insert text i'm here saying maybe 2017 center align any font of your choice you can select you put it here make it bold i'm just going to reduce the size and i'm going to give the gray color or if you want you can give the color which you have used here so that color also can be used and go to insert text box i'm going to add detail text here center align reduce the size make it gray color and just put it here so you can see here this is done so i'm just going to select all this only this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate here you can see here and i'm just moving it here make sure that there's some gap is there i'm ungrouping this then i'm just selecting this only you can see here and just moving up okay something like this and if you want to reduce this size also you can reduce the size so for example if i want to reduce the size let me just ungroup this you can see here i'm just going to select only this part and i can reduce it something like this now it's easy for me i'm just going to select all these things press ctrl d you can see here i'm just going to add here and then i'm just going to select only one part which is this let me just select from the bottom you can see here hold the shift key and select this press ctrl d and i'm just going to add it one more here so you can see here i've added uh, five options now if you want you can keep it the same size or if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement so let's change the color according to the requirement so i'm just going to select this first go to more colors and you can choose any dark color maybe i'm just going to select this dark color and here i'm going to select a light color combination you can see here maybe this so it looks something like this you can see here again for this i'm going to select maybe uh, this color and then for this i'm going to select some lighter colors and again for this i'm going to select maybe some dark red along with this i'm going to select some lighter red color you can see here and then for this i can select maybe a blue color combination some this blue with some lighter blue combination so you can see here like this you can do it and then once this is done if you have uh, the latest version of powerpoint you can use the icons go to insert icons and select any 
icons of your choice depending on the requirement so i'm just going to select some uh five icons here any icon you can see a lot of variety is there so i'm just selecting this and i'm just moving uh, this side here and i'm going to give the height and width as 0.3 very smaller one and then i'm just going to select each one and i'm going to place it here so you can see here i'm just placing it here one by one and make sure that the icons are meaningful according to your uh, the content okay so i'm just going to select this hold the shift key one by one i'm selecting and graphic fill i'm going to give as white color and once this is done go to insert text box you can just add the title center align i'm going to use the same font century gothic make it bold and just you can add it here if you want you can keep it a black color or you can make it white color combination also press ctrl d just add this one here again ctrl d add it for each circle or the option again i'm just going to add one more here so you can see here so this is uh, the basic design is done and if you want to change the background you can select the gradient fill and i've used two color combination white and light gray color combination and the type i have used radial and direction i set from the center so it looks something like this and the last thing is i'm just going to select this and whatever the color which we have used i'm just going to select the color here you can see here i'm just going to use some dark color whatever we have used on our options and this one is 2018 this is 19 this is 20 and this is 21 so you can see here the design is ready now to give the animations close the format background go to the animations tab enable go to the animations and enable the animation pane you can see here and then i'm going to group this first select the line and this arrowhead press ctrl g to group it and here also i'm just going to group these things you can see here this one along with the line Control G you can see here again I'm just selecting this and this Control G and make sure that you don't select something different uh, options here otherwise when you're doing the animation that will create a problem for us so if I for example what happens this is also getting selected so you have to make sure that only these options you are selecting and you can hold the shift key and select this also Control G and this also i'm just selecting and control g to group it again these two circles this also i'm going to group it you can see here just use the mouse and then select the option and group it so something like this you can see here group this now i'm going to select this circle add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select basic zoom you can see here and then i'm going to select this arrow this arrow i'm going to add the animation which is more entrance effects go there and select the stretch and click ok and effect options i'm going to select from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here and then i'm going to select this circle animation painter i'm going to copy it here so the same uh, zoom effect has been created here the basic zoom and then i'm going to select this you can see here and add animation more entrance effects again i'm going to say stretch from top so it comes something like this and this should happen after previous and again the same thing i'm going to copy for the detailed text you can see here and again the same thing i'm going to copy it here 
the only thing is I'm just going to make it from bottom so let me just show you how it works if I click again click you can see here it comes something like this so like this you can just add the animation it's very simple I'm going to select this click it here again I'm going to select this like this you can see here you can just keep on adding it one by one like this so let me just play again you can see here if you want you can just make it with previous also depending on your requirement